This vehicle is the Skoda T56. This is a Czechoslovakian Tier 8 premium heavy tank. Uh, so I've been looking through the specifications. This is kind of an average tank. I think that there's better tanks than this one in the game. It is an autoloader. It's a two-shot autoloader. The uh, regular round penetration is a little low at 208. And the damage is pretty good at 460, which means you can do 920 damage in one clip. Uh, it's a slow tank. That The armor is just a little average. It's not overpowered in terms of the armor, certainly not with the speed. Uh, the gold rounds are pretty good, two, 248, not the highest, uh, but uh, it's kind of average. So overall, I would say that this is an average tank. Really nothing, anything special about it. It does have some spaced armor over here in the front. And let's do a comparison. I'm going to compare it to some of the other vehicles in the game, and we'll see... How it compares. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at other tier eight uh, auto loaders. And I probably got all of I probably got all of them. I'm only going to look at the ones that are similar in design. Okay, so we have this vehicle here, which is the Object Seven Hundred Three. We got the IS. 3A, the Byzante. I'm going to skip the Emil. I thought there was more, I guess not. There's others, the Somua SM, for example. So you notice that the penetration is the lowest out of all of these vehicles. The damage is, however, higher. Uh, the reload time is one of the better ones for reload, so in that case it's doing well. Highest DPM. You look at the armor, you can see that the IS-3A has the best armor. And in terms of armor, the lower plate is the weakest and the turret is the second weakest, which is still kind of average. Um... So the 7032122 has better armor, better penetration, same reload time, which is why I think it's a better tank. And then we're going to look at the speed, the top speed. The Byzante is a lot faster. The rest of them are kind of similar. So basically, what it means is that the IS-3A is the best choice for armor. Uh, the best... The 7032 and the IS-3A, spec-wise, is better than the Skoda T-56, with the exception of the damage per shot. And the Byzante, you know, you know it's a special vehicle because it's a lighter um, heavy tank. It's got a little bit more speed to it. But I would say if you're going to go for a premium autoloader heavy tank, not including the Somua and the Emil, I would say go with the 7032 or the IS-3A. The IS-3A has three rounds in the clip, and it's an auto-reloader, which means that when you run out of shells, it's still reloading. The 7032, you can fire both rounds at the same time. Uh, it's not always the best thing to do. It gives you a little bit of an advantage. It's kind of fun to play. I would definitely consider one of those over the Skoda T56. Uh, the Skoda T56 is just going to be kind of average, and against other heavy tanks, it's really not going to be a high-performing vehicle. It's just going to be kind of average, uh, especially because the armor on other vehicles is better. The, the overpowered armor on similar vehicles is going to be better on the other vehicles. Okay, so the Skoda T56, um, how much is it worth? Might sell for fifty bucks. Uh, the cheapest you can get a tier eight for is going to be in the thirty dollar range. Uh, I have no intention of buying it, but uh, if I suppose if it's a marathon mission, you might enjoy it. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please post below.